Hey guys, Tony here, and in this video, I'm excited to share with you the brand new tri-color laser TV from Caceres called the H6. This is one insane looking projector and is matte black and dark gray and looks like something from a science fiction movie. I'm going to go over all the specs and share with you my real life impressions of this projector, including the brightness and contrast, 3D support, and discuss the HDR performance. Coming in at $1,899 on the Super Early Bird Special on Indiegogo, this is one of the most affordable tri-color laser projectors that I've had in for review. So let's see how it stacks up. A quick disclaimer, this isn't a sponsored video, but Caceres did send this unit in to me for review. However, everything expressed in this review is 100% my own thoughts and opinions. So now would be a great time to hit the like button as it really helps me out when you do, but let's get into it. So while I unbox the H6, let's discuss the specs. We have an RGB tri-color laser DLP light source that can cover up to 110% of the BT2020 color space. The H6 can project 80 inches all the way up to 150 inches with a throw ratio of 0.25. The lifespan of the light engine is rated at 30,000 hours. There is a reported brightness of 3000 ANSI lumens and a contrast ratio of 1600 to 1 and there is also support for 3D which is really cool. The H6 has a 4K resolution with support for HDR10 and HDR10 Plus with MEMC or frame interpolation for smoother playback, eye protection and built-in speakers to use if you don't have a speaker system. The H6 measures in at 6.2 inches high by 25 inches wide and 13.6 inches deep and I think it looks pretty cool in the charcoal and matte black finish and weighs in at 12 kilograms. In the box we have a power cable a fully optioned Android TV dongle, a remote to control both the TV and the projector, and an instruction booklet. On the back of the projector we have two HDMI ports with HDMI 1 having ARC support, an SPDIF port, and two USB ports. The Android TV box plugs into the back with the included mini HDMI and USB power cable. Installation was actually pretty straightforward. As I wanted to test this out as a television, Caceres also provided me with a 120 inch ALR screen, which meant that I had to remove my existing setup with my speakers so that I could mount the H6 a little lower down to meet the throw distance. I was able to get it aligned almost perfectly, but did end up having to use the eight point keystone adjustment options just to dial it in a little for this video, which is perfectly fine. I was then able to go through the various settings on the projector to fine tune the look and feel, making use of the various presets on offer. I felt that the standard mode worked really well, with the user mode for the color temperature so that I could tune down the red laser a little to give a more natural look and feel. The interface is super easy to use with options like noise reduction to improve the image quality, which I thought worked extremely well, especially for SDR content that was shot on film. And for presets, I also really liked the low dynamic, which made the image a little softer and more cinematic. There isn't an autofocus function and you do have to use the pre-install calibration image to get the focus set, which works fine, but I would have loved to have been able to use an image behind the focus wheel to make the process a little easier. Brightness and focus uniformity ended up being pretty decent, even though this is usually where I find a UST projector struggles a bit. The H6 had no issues getting aligned and focused. As I was using this without my external speaker system, I found that the built-in dual 15 watt speakers more than adequate for watching movies and TV shows, but adding a speaker system would make it even better. The H6 supports HDR10, HDR10+, and HLG, and I found that in both SDR and HDR modes, the H6 had amazing color reproduction, which you can see from the video demos. One thing I really liked about the H6 offering is that it comes with a fully finished Android TV dongle, which means you can get Netflix and Disney+, Plus, which is a bonus if you don't have an Apple TV or media player. I was able to log in via Android and had full access to my regular apps, and the experience was quick and punchy. The only downside to using Wi-Fi over Ethernet is sometimes the picture quality would drop a little, but that was due to the Wi-Fi, not the Android TV. I found that it was really handy to have this as an option, especially as I dismantled my setup and I was able to still watch the shows I wanted without having to try and reconnect everything back up. 
Considering many new laser TVs and projectors don't have support for Netflix or Disney+, Plus, this was a real bonus. Speaking of brightness, we have a reported 3000 ANSI lumens, so the H6 is a very bright projector, especially considering it's projecting very close to the wall. Caceres rate the H6 as having 1600 to 1 FO, FO or full on and full off contrast, which is great for watching in a dark room, and I felt that there was a good enough balance between the brightness and the contrast, especially if you use a sensor, you can correct the colour temp and the colours to get it looking very nice indeed. I was very impressed with the cinematic performance of the H6 and the image was seriously like watching on a much more expensive projector. The colours were really rich and vibrant and I liked how using a small amount of MEMC or frame interpolation resulted in a nice smooth playback that I really enjoyed. For contrast, usually that's the biggest issue with projectors but I found that the H6 stood up really well. Especially paired with the 120 inch ALR screen, you can see from the demo some of the nice contrast and detail in the image during playback. I would usually only watch in the evening, but you could certainly use the H6 during some ambient light. In many of the movies I like to demo, the image is quite dark, and I use them specifically to test out how the black levels perform, and after tweaking the picture settings, I was definitely impressed with how well the H6 was able to reproduce the image. I found the image quality to be excellent. The colours are rich and deep, which is what you would expect from a tricolour laser projector, as you can reach a wider colour gamut, and I found the image to be very detailed, especially when playing back from disc. The darker image playback still had heaps of detail and the HDR performance showed that 3000 ANSI lumens was more than enough to bring the detail into view. As you can see from the demos, the image is super bright, vivid and has plenty of contrast, so you certainly do get a really good cinematic experience from the H6, which is mostly what I would be using it for. In terms of rainbow effect, I didn't notice any, however my camera may have captured some colour fringing due to the refresh rate of my camera being out of phase with the screen. Even though I do my best to match them up, there is definitely none visible in person. However, being a DLP light source, it is possible, although greatly reduced with a tri-laser as there is no colour wheel involved. I ended up using the H6 in my setup as is for around a week, every evening before bed. I just grew to really enjoy the experience even without my multi-channel speaker setup because the picture just looks so good. Yes, we have 3D support. As I've said many times before, it's not my cup of tea, but it definitely works and Caceres provided me with a set of glasses to test it out. While gravity wasn't that impressive, I did find that Avatar looked really awesome. So thanks to the community page for all of your suggestions. I measured the playback performance on both the Android TV and my Zidu Z9X media player, which has all of my 4K disc grips, so you are guaranteed to have the highest possible quality audio and video. The Android TV playback was pretty decent, especially for a casual setting, and while I did think the quality was okay, I did notice the difference when I started playing back on my Zidu. I think the biggest difference is the Wi-Fi connection versus the Ethernet. The streaming was still very nice, as you can see from the demos, both Disney Plus and Netflix, thinking how you might use the H6 in a more casual setting, it was more than good enough in my opinion. In movies like John Wick 4, the scene on the rooftop in Japan, I love to test that scene because of the bright colours and the dark areas in the image, and it looked fantastic to me. You can really see the difference a triple colour laser setup can make to the image. In bright movies like Mario Brothers, that is where the wider colour gamut can be seen and the picture just looks really bright and colourful, even though it's an HDR10 tone mapping instead of Dolby Vision. I'd be so bold to say that until recently, the Caceres A6 was my favourite ultra short throw projector and it was in my personal setup for around 6 months before I recently switched over to a ceiling mounted projector. When Caceres reached out to me to review the H6, I was really excited because I knew what impressed me about the A6 being the brightness and the contrast and the ability to calibrate the colour temperature and the RGB CMY and I was hoping to see something similar if not better in the H6. Well, I was not disappointed. Not only does the H6 look really cool, Caceres seemed to have made some improvements to the brightness and the contrast, and also the biggest thing I noticed was the reduced laser speckle which was there in the A6 although very minimal. 
I think that the look of the H6 should not be underestimated as being a dark color means that it can really blend in with the room and the fins also just look really cool and futuristic. The image quality is excellent and a very nice balance between brightness and contrast and there are so many options available in terms of correcting the image to your personal taste that I think this would be an excellent addition to your setup. I also think the H6 would be perfect as a projector for someone who is after a TV replacement on a massive screen around 120 inches that likes to game or watch sports as well as appreciates a good movie watching session in a casual space. So at the time of recording this video, the Super Early Bird Special on Indiegogo is $1899 US dollars. However, this price does not include the 120 inch ALR screen. Make sure you check the links in the description so that you can see the current pricing and options available, including the 120 inch ALR screen, which pairs with this projector perfectly. I'd like to thank Casiris for sending the H6 in for review. I have thoroughly enjoyed my time with it and hope to get a few more movie watching sessions in very soon. Why not let me know what you think down in the comments below and whether or not you think it's worth buying one for your setup. A very big thank you for watching, but that's it for this one. You'll catch me in the next one. Bye for now.